can see the cross in view. I stumble in my walk as I see it coming closer and closer. I can't seem to keep my feet on the straight path, even though my eyes are fixated on the cross ahead. Something always seems to pull me back or push me down to be bloody and marred. By the power of God, He lifts me up. He dusts off my feet and dries my tears. He sets me on the right path as I again begin the journey to the cross ahead. The struggle and trials that I had in my way are a faded memory as I finally make it to the beautiful cross that I have been running to for so long. Here I am. I wrap my arms around this cross and cry with tears of joy. I lay down the burden I have been carrying for so long as I get on my knees before this beautiful cross. Suddenly, I feel a gentle touch from someone behind me. When I turn around, I see the smiling face of the Savior that once was upon this cross before me. He looked at me with an intense love and lifts up my chin only to tell me I love you. The words keep ringing in my ear. It is finished. It is finished. No more condemnation for you, my daughter. No more wondering where you belong. You belong to me. You are my love and I delight in you, my daughter. You will always have a safe place to call home for I will never shut the door to you again. I will never tell you you aren't welcome in my home. You are wanted You are loved and you are mine. When the world tries to take you down, call to me. When you feel lonely and depressed, call on my name for I am there. I am always there. I have made this vow to you that I would never leave you or turn my back on you, even if you turn yours on me. I am always here even when you don't feel me. I am there. When you get pulled into the temptations of this world, I am there waiting for you to return home where you belong. You are my beautiful daughter. No matter what this world tells you about yourself, no matter how the people in this world make you feel or that you aren't worthy enough to merely be you, remember, I thought about you before the foundations of the world. I lovingly created you with my very hands, and I joyfully spoke into your heart my love for you. The day you asked me to come live with you was the happiest day, and we all celebrated and cheered for your acceptance of me. You are forever mine, and I am forever yours. My daughter, I know you are tired. I know the things people have said about you that make you cry. I see your heart and how it aches, and I promise I will make it all new. One day soon, my daughter, I will bring you to the home I have prepared just for you. I have prepared for so long, and I long for you just as much as you long for me. As I sat there and listened to the words spoken over me by this beautiful yet loving man, I couldn't help but feel the ease of my hurting heart. I feel the shame of the past being lifted and the overwhelming knowledge that no matter what happens, I will forever be his and he will forever be my first love. And oh, my soul so weary When troubles come And my heart 
would burden me Then I am still And wait here in the silence Until you come And sit a while with me You raise me up So I can stand on mountains You raise me up To walk on stormy seas I am strong When I am on your shoulders You raise me up To more than I can be shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be there is no life no life without its hunger each restless heart each soul Can be.